Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today this should be on everybody's mind for Christmas. How fast should you list for Christmas? So to help most people I've come up with a listing guide on how quickly you should be listing into your store based on how many Christmas listings you've got to go into your store. Now this is a general guide. Lots of you will be have, making lots of sales, others won't be making many sales at all. So I've tried to keep this as safe as possible for most Etsy sellers. So this is just a broad guide. Let's get into it so that you can see what you should be doing with your listing speed. This is really, really important. It's a balance. So the first thing, these are most listing categories. So this is how many listings you've got to put into your store for Christmas. Under 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 50, 50 to 100, and 100 plus. And I'm going to spend a bit of time on this bottom one because I know there'll be some of you out there that will have a lot of Christmas products. And if you have got a lot of Christmas products, you should have started ages ago. In fact, most of you should have already started, but I'm being asked this by a few people. So let's, let's see what's going on here with how quickly should, you should be listing. So first of all, if you've got under 10 Christmas listings to go into your store, just do one a day, okay? They'll all be in in the next 10 days. That's fine, just list one a day, they'll all be in, no problem at all. Now, if you've got 10 to 20 listings, to go in for Christmas. This is Christmas specific listings, listings especially for the Christmas season. If it's 10 to 20, no more than two a day. So even if you've got 20 to go in, it's 10 days, maximum 10 days, okay, to go in. And it's 10 days here. So it's this, it's this balance between how long it takes and how many listings you've got. Right, we're trying to get this balance right. So if you've got 20 to 30 listings, it's going to be, I'm gonna hold it at two a day. Okay, it's still two a day. So now it's 10 to 15 days. Little bit longer if you've got 30 listings, but we don't wanna pile listings in too quickly and possibly damage the conversion rate of your store. So let's hold two a day, 20 to 30. Right, now we get to 30 to 50 listings and if you're in 30 to 50 listings, we're going to do three a day, okay? Again, holding the 10 to 15 day window. So you can see that the numbers of, numbers of listings going into your store goes up slightly, but we're still holding a decent time frame for the listings to get into your store. We're not overpopulating your store too quickly. Right, 50 to 100 listings. So now it's kind of getting serious. If you're, if you're, if you're making 50 to 100 listings to go into your store, you need to be selling. Your store needs to be either becoming successful or successful. And we're going to talk about this again in more detail, the 100 listings plus. Don't, as a new seller, if you've got no sales and no listings, just start piling 50, 100 listings into your store, expecting to sell. You won't. You won't sell because you've got no historical viability proof that your store works at Christmas. So don't go throwing in tons of listings at Christmas if you don't have any sales. You'll probably see YouTubers telling you to pile the listings in 10, 15, 20 listings, 50 listings a day. That's guaranteed failure written on your store right now unless you're making sales to back it up. This is what they don't tell you. Yes, you can list 10, 15, 20 listings a day, but to do it and succeed, you've got to have sales. You can't just throw listings in, they won't sell. I guarantee you they won't sell. Not unless you're selling something that nobody else has done and there's a demand for. Of course, that is an exception. So 50 to 100 listings. Now we are up to five a day. So five listings a day. And again, we're holding, got to do my maths here, five listings a day. Yeah, it's 10 to 20 days. Okay, so we've extended the timing a little bit but we're still within a reasonable time frame. So 50 to 100 is a lot of listings, right? And this is over and above any normal listing that you're doing. So we're, we're, we're trying to hold the balance. Five a day, 10 to 20 days to do that. Now, special point here, if it's 100 plus, right? 
maybe 150, 200 listings to go in for Christmas. Well, it should have already started. You, ideally, you should start listing three months before the season uh, begins. So for Christmas, it's August, September. You should be listing then. But if you've got over 100 listings, 150, 200, 250, something like that, if you're a new store, just don't flood the store because it won't work. I know what the thinking is. You'll think, it's Christmas. I'm going to make sales because I've got lots of listings. It doesn't work like that. Etsy's a, Etsy is a visibility gatekeeper. It's, it, it happens in stages. If you're a new seller, you don't get the same visibility as someone with 5,000 sales or 10,000 sales or 10,000 sales and a historical track record of selling at Christmas time on Etsy. Etsy knows all this. It knows what to do with the data. It knows who's trustworthy and who is unproven. So those numbers scare me if you're, if you're a new seller. You shouldn't be thinking of these numbers. It, it won't work. If you're established uh, and, and you've got lots of sales, then you can move these kinds of numbers of products into your store for Christmas. So here, I'm going to say seven to 10 a day. All right. And that's with sales, right? Only if you've got sales, with sales, plenty of sales, you know? If you're making a sale a day, just one sale a day, this, this listing at seven to 10 new Christmas listings is way too high. Your shop will not support and sustain the conversion rate with this heavy number of listings going in. So if you're making a sale here, a sale there, a sale a day or something, that's not really enough to support this volume of listings going in. But if you're making 10, 15, 20 orders a day and you have a historical uh, performance for Christmas, that's more like it, right? Your store will support the seven to 10 new listings going into your store a day. Your conversion rate won't crash because the conversion rate and visibility of the store will hold the ability for you to put seven to 10 listings a day in. So I hope this makes sense. You, most of you, I think, I, I, yeah, most of you will fit into these brackets. So you should be able to find yourself in and amongst these numbers. Let me know which one you're going to do. Let me know out of these one, two, three, four, five, six, brackets you're going to fall into. And as always, if you want to work with me, don't wait, don't guess. The book in now button is coming up on your screen. That takes you to a discovery call booking page where you book a one-to-one -one Zoom call with me to find out how I can help you in paid consultations or mentoring to help your Etsy business succeed. I look forward to catching you in a consultation and catching you in the comments. Cheers.